Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak Radash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, whom this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. And peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, those men doing his work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of earth. And much love to the one third of you innumerable multitude of you believers. I'm your, uh, I'm the brother Yeshia, and I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson is edifying through the Spirit. All right, so, um, you know, honestly, uh, uh, the camp and I, um, we went to uh, see Civil War uh, this past Tuesday. And actually, me and uh, Brother Gabar, we did a, a little quick hitter in the car. But, you know, I, we was closer to the house than I expected. So it was only like nine or ten minutes. And so I was like, I, I don't like putting up rushed videos. You know, I feel like, you know, that's not a proper sacrifice to Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. So I just decided not to do it, not to upload it. But we did mention uh, uh, the, the title of this lesson. And so... The reason why I'm calling it this is because, you know, I there were parts of the film I didn't get to see. Um, we had a certain situation we had to deal with. Um, so I had to uh, walk out a couple of times. Um, however, so there are parts I missed, but I did remember the most vivid words. And they had some good liners in there, but the most vivid words I remember were flooded. Flooded. And in that moment, there were... Uh, uh, a militia, if you will, governmental men, right? Army men suited up, AR-15s, Teflon vests, uh, 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 clips on their hip, you know, fully helmet. And they said flooded is when they entered the room, it was like seven of them. And they all entered the room, one after another, one after another, because most rooms they go in, they go in, check, clear, one guy go in, check, clear, and they check the rooms like that. But when they said flooded, that means everybody go in. And obviously, scriptures just started pouring into my heads, into my head when I when I when I uh, when I when I heard that, you know. Um, and so let me get, uh, uh, you know, of course, the famous one, but I'm gonna wait on that one. This is Job 30 and 14. It says they came upon me as a wide breaking in of waters and the desolation. They rolled themselves upon me. You see, so is that that flood is likened unto water, right? Because. What happens when you flood? You get overwhelmed. A flood just comes and consumes everything. If you get a flood, right, the waters rush in first, you know, and then you 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 you're isolated. You know, it's not much you can do to move to move, right? And you get rolled upon. If a flood comes and takes over, you know, we, we live down in Florida, and we be having floods. You be seeing cars that's stuck. You seeing people trying to get out. They showed you a uh, hurricane Katrina and the disaster that it did when the floods was on the street and devouring people's houses. So the scriptures liken a flood unto Esau, Edom and the tax that he's going to make unto uh, the men of the Lord. You know, ultimately they're going to be doing it to a lot of people, but the men of the Lord is going to be their goal, right? That's their prime, prime premier target. Okay. This is Psalms 144 and seven called Laya Bashim Shai. It says, send thine hand from above, which is Yahweh Shai, Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. So he's likening great waters to the hand of strange children. Who are those strange children? Those strange children are the Edomites, right? Those strange children coming in to take over and destroy uh, the attempt to destroy the uh, elect of the nation of Israel. Well, Jacob's trouble is going to be gruesome for the two thirds because they're they going to be in their house and they're going to have a... They one gun thinking they're going to make it out. And Esau going to come in there like that flood and he's going to com completely annihilate them. And so we're asking for Yahweh Shai to come and to deliver us out of the hand of those great waters, which is Esau and his armies, man. OK. And this is a reality that uh, people have to consider, man. He said flooded. I was like, damn, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. And Esau, Esau probably threw that intentionally because he knows that we watch. He's, he knows that we're watching. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. He says the enemy, 
Who's going to be their enemy? Their enemy is going to be Esau Edom. Coming through the doors with his weaponry, his guns, his defense mechanisms. And trust me, that movie, they did a soft version. Right? They had, like I said, they had six or seven guys. They weren't even fully loaded like that. Like, they outfits, you know, to a regular citizen, yeah, it would have been overwhelming. But trust me, they could have been way more suited up than that. And they could have had about 15 men. That's how they're going to be coming against the men of the Lord. And that's because they know that this prophecy is true. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. And so that's going to be that spiritual power that's going to be able to take them out. And this is why it's going to, hey, if Esau come down like this, we're going to need those spiritual powers. You're going to need wisdom and knowledge to be your stability in these times. You're going to need Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to help you from these dire situations. All right? But it says the enemy shall come in like a flood, man, which means they're just trying to overwhelm, you know? What are the fact that they said those words? And there was, man, just watching that movie, there were so many scriptures, you know. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You know, enemy shall turn against enemy. One guy said, he said, hey, I used to know that guy. You know, neighbors <laughs> shall fight each other with swords in their hands. Dude was hanging around. He said, hey, I used to know that guy, man. You see? So prophecy is coming to pass. And that that civil war, they're showing you the reality of, of devastation in America. But people are too busy worried about their own lives and not realizing what their enemy is up against. You know, what, what Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to do unto the wicked, right? And we're just hoping that we be saved. Deliver us, Lord. <laughs> Deliver us. Come save us. <laughs> you know, just shout out to Elder Uriah, you know. But um, it says, uh, Luke 6 and 21 Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Right? We hunger for the Lord. We we weep now for the Lord. We're the only one sign of crying about uh, uh, the abominations therein. We're the only one sign of crying that Esau is about to come in and do devastating things to our people and nobody is hearing us. Right? But the time's going to come when we're going to laugh. Right? The Lord going to give us spiritual powers, Lord willing, and we're going to put them people down with all their weapons, and then we're going to be laughing. Y'all thought y'all was on to something. Y'all thought y'all was going to get us. You know, but the Lord had our backs. It says, blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Those dudes are going to hate you. Trust me. Don't let you be about the fifth or sixth, seventh person that they're hearing about. They'll be like, hey, man, you know, you got, you know, Lord, I do believe the Lord is going to have brothers in the camps unite. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, you, at first it might be separated. Esau go to one brother's house and go to another brother's house, go to another brother's house. They're going to be like, hey, they're going to report to each other, hey, we having cause of men with strange powers right so they're gonna flood that third time they're gonna hate a brother they're gonna be like hey they see you got the powers and they're gonna see him put an edomite down with spiritual power they're gonna hate him man and they're gonna hate us they already do y'all gonna esau naturally hates us imagine jake with power he's gonna hate you through and through they hate us because of what we talk about now it says they hated him that rebuketh in the gate it says it says and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. And Jake do that too. Jake cast out our, our name for evil. Jake going to be the ones turning on us. Don't want to be around us. Right? It says, Re rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So they did the same thing to our fathers, man. They did the same things, right? Trying to get our forefathers destroyed. Okay, trying to get the uh, the men are in our reincarnation. They were trying to get us destroyed, you know. But hey, Esau hates us. Two thirds hates us. But the Lord loves you, brother. Yeah, how about Shemuel Shah loves you? For all the the sisters that are truly sincere, the Lord loves y'all too. You see. Um, I got uh two more verses. This is uh Luke twenty one and twelve. It says Bef before all these. They shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. You see that? So it said before, so before all of the, the terrible things start to happen and the, the woes, right? The beginning of sorrows, I mean, before all these, they shall lay their hands on you. It says they shall lay their hands on you. Hey, Esau going to be like, man, I just, let me put my hands on. I can't wait to get the, you know what I'm saying? Esau going to have that anger in him, man. That perpetual hatred is going to rise back up. You're going to see them turn into their true form. They is going to turn into red devils in that day. They're going to get all red. They're going to get hot. You know, 
I've had a dream. You know, many brothers have had dreams. I've had a dream of Esau coming up, grabbing me off the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they got me. and I, You know, they grabbing me and they poking their guns. I mean, they punching me in my sides. You know what I'm saying? And I told I told him, <laughs> I told him, I said, hey, y'all about shooting me out shot, going to kill all of you motherfuckers. Like my lawyer is going to destroy you. And they got even madder and start hitting me harder. <laughs> they start hitting me harder, man. You know, but they're they going to lay their hands on us, man. All right? But it's going to be all right. We got the Lord. We got the Lord with us, brothers. Well, I fear. <laughs> Let them get that couple legs. The Lord going to give you that power in the blink of an eye. And they're going to get put to death. It says, and persecute you. Right? They're going to persecute us, man. They're going to call us bad names. They're going to try to get us locked up. They're going to try to put us in FEMA camps. Right? The Lord says, uh, uh, fight into death. Strive for the Lord into the death, and he shall fight for you. Right? It says, delivering you up to the synagogues. And nowadays, now, you know, we got to understand who running the synagogues nowadays, right? The, the false, the J A the J-O-O's, you know, the 1948ers, the small hatters, the baby caps. You see? They, we gonna be, they're going to try to put, bring us up to them. It says, and into prisons, FEMA camps. They're going to lock us up in FEMA camps and jails, right? Being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. You're going to be brought before different presidents. You're going to be brought before prime ministers. You're going to be brought before uh, so-called elite. They've been watching your videos. They're going to be like, they're going to say your name. What's going on, brother? You know, they gonna, they might even hit you with a shalom. <laughs> shalom, brother. You know what I'm saying? And just ready to do you, do you, do do bad things unto you. But the Lord is going to have it to where it's either, hey, brother, if you got to get catch a guillotine, hey, so be it. But if not, the Lord going to give you spiritual powers to get up out of there. Right? It says, and the reason, this is the reason why, though. Verse 13 is so important. It says, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. That's the main reason. The Lord ain't bringing us in front of them just so they can get their hands on us and do us dirty. But we're going to be like, man, we, you know, man, we, we put that Edomite to death. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing the, uh, the uh, Bishop Itazawam and the Elder Ratazai hand right now. If y'all saw me, and put they gonna put y'all to death. <laughs> if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but it shall turn you for a testimony. That's gonna be a, a witness against the wicked, man. And you gonna tell brothers, man, I got a part of that thing. You gonna be like, man, I was before a president. I was before a uh, Rothschild, and I got a part of there, man. The, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. That's a great glory, and then you can go and tell others, man. Right. But it says, settle, settle it, therefore, in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer. You ain't even got to think of it. on that trip the way there when they got that bag over your head and you got them handcuffs on. You ain't even got to think about what you got to say. Just take a hey, enjoy the ride, brother, because you have about Shimei Al Shai going to give you the words that you need to say. So it says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So even if you're thinking about what to say. Hey, don't even worry. He's going to give you the words or it's going to completely shut them down. They're going to be flabbergasted. <laughs> you know, it's going to shut everything you could have thought down. The Lord's ways are higher than ours, man. All right. It says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to get put to death. So some brothers is going to happen to. But at the end of the day, yeah, how about you? I got you. And you brother, hey, brothers, that's that's going to happen to you're going to be on that chariot. You're going to be on that chariot, you know what I'm saying, awaiting everybody else. That's a reward for being a martyr for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So everybody's going to hate us, right, for Yahweh Shai, man. But it's okay. We hated by the world. We, Brother, you know what you signed up for. When you signed up for this, you got to know that you signed up to be hated by the world but loved by God, bro. You in the best seat possible. Fuck them all if they don't obey the Lord. It says, uh, but there shall not an hair of your head perish and your patience possess you your souls. So, hey, you got to possess your soul. You got to get your mind right for the things to come, man. So while you suffering, you get your mind right. It's going to be all right, you know. But um, this is the last one I had. It's a lock, yeah. Um, It says, uh, then shall they be known who are my chosen. And why is that? Because, hey, in the midst of that, the Lord going to give you that. Right. And so it says, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So, hey, man, we got to go through these tests and things like that. But we're going to know the Lord willing we be those men. Many men are going to know you part of the Lord's elect before even the salvation come. You see, before the chariots show up and Lord willing. Hey, man, you know, shout out to Elder Uriah again. He said, hey, man, I pray that all the 144,000 get spiritual power. And that was I, when he said that 
that hit my soul, man. And we pray, we hope we part of that 144,000. You right? Hope we pray a part of the Lord's elect, man. It says, Here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, Behold, the days are trouble, days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Them people in that movie didn't have no way of deliverance. They end up taking the president out, man. You know, in the movie. You know, let me say it like that, because you know, they'll <laughs> they'll try to get you. You know, in the movie, man. You see? But that lets you know it says they shall not regard their kings nor their princes. You see? But it says, but I will deliver you from the same. So we're going to be kept out of them situation. Lord going to keep us, man. Be neither afraid, nor be not afraid, neither doubt. For the most high, Yahweh is your God, man. So Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to be the one to keep us through all of these trying times, these situations. You know, so this is where your belief, your faith, all of those things are going to have to uh, surmount to a whole different level. Where you're going to have to know that the power of heaven and earth is going to sustain you. He's going to keep you. He's going to show you the ways of righteousness, man. You see, he's, he said, I would deliver you from the same. Do you what do you think these people going to be out? They're going to be trying to call on Jesus. They're going to be trying to call on Muhammad. They're going to be trying to call on Krishna. They're going to be trying to call on all of these idol gods. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not going to show up for none of them. Right. You even going to have cats that are going to say, Yahweh Shah, help me. Lord going to be like, hey, I don't know you, bro. Right. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture and I'll wrap it up. It's probably going to be maybe it, maybe about 17, 18 minutes. We'll see. Let me see if I can find it. Lord will. Yep, that's a good one. Luke 13 and uh, 27. Whew, let me start at 25. It says, uh, damn, let me start at 24. It says, strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and hath shut the door, and ye begin to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open up to us. That's what they're going to be saying. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence ye are. Then shall you begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou was taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. That's the Lord basically saying, nigga, I don't know you. To put it in layman's terms, <laughs> you know. Because they didn't, they didn't uh, uh, serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, so they're gonna be saying Yahweh Shah, like you know, Lord, we we Lord, we ate and we drunk, you know, we 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 called on your name, you know, Lord, Lord. Let me see, let me type that, you know, Lord, Lord, have we not done these things, you know, Lord, like I I don't know you, bro, you know, you are none of mine. This is Matthew seven and twenty two. It says, uh, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and thy name done many wonderful works. Right. So at the end of the day, if somebody say, hey, Yahweh Shah, and then they do it, they cast out a devil in the name of Yahweh Shah, that's still glory to Yahweh Shah. But that don't mean that man, the dudes be thinking they right just because they could do something like that. But that's why the Lord said to the disciples, he said, um, uh, uh, um, uh, basically glory, not. That you can cast out devils, but rather be thankful that your names are written in heaven. Roughly paraphrasing, right? Because though, but a lot of these, a lot of these guys in these other camps, they're gonna be trying to call on the Lord. Hey, just because they thought they were like, look, look, you saw that, you saw that. They ain't got a demon on them no more. But they were never of the Lord's man. They were never of the Lord's sheep, right? It says, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, man. So that's gonna happen to a lot of dudes and uh, hey. A lot of wickedness, man. But Esau is about to get out here. Hey, a lot of them dudes, they're going to get taken in that flood. A lot of these dudes, they're going to get taken in the missiles. A lot of these dudes going to get taken in Jacob's trouble, a.k.a. martial law. It's going to be terrible for the wicked in these times. And the, the Edomites, it's going to be terrible for them too. Men of the Lord is going to destroy them heavily with them spiritual power. Esau not going to know what to do. Esau, he thought he had the sword. The Lord, you, ain't, you can't amount up to that, that power that's coming from the heavens, man. So, hey, I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, all the honor. All the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rahakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone to rule well. And peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.